in this get ready with me i'm going to go from this to this to this and back again <laughs> uh, today is my get ready with me dolky photographer edition because i am getting ready for my husband's cousin's dolky but i'm also the photographer i'm starting off with the ember release moisturizer this is an oldie but a goldie tried and tested i've tried so many different bases but this is the best one and then i'm using a new primer and it takes forever for some of it to come out this is the hourglass primer i've had this for so long but i've only now opened it guys i really like this it was so velvety the texture of my face felt very different and my makeup actually lasted a super long time and i guess that's got something to do with it so i will definitely be using it again and then this is like the best corrector ever my favorite makeup discovery of 2021 just look at how it literally erases the darkness i could not ask for a better and more affordable corrector take that under the eyes above the eyes and around the mouth then i'm mixing the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation with the nars radiant longwear foundation i have a nars radiant longwear in the shade vanuatu which is too dark for me unfortunately and the charlotte tilbury one is a good match everything by the way will be linked down below including shades and all the rest of it and yeah these two together give me the perfect sort of full coverage but natural dewy finish and this is my favorite sponge of all time i realized i didn't even do a 2022 makeup favorites but if i had the good mellow sponge would definitely be in there if you're using the beauty blender if you're using the real technique sponge if you're using any other sponge basically and you've not tried the good mellow sponge you're missing out i feel like this gives the best coverage for a sponge and just such a beautiful finish i'm honestly obsessed with it so i really recommend you guys give it a go all right, so I'm going in with the new formula of the Kevin Aquan, so just getting hot answer in 07. This is meh. It's better than, obviously, most of the other concealers I've tried, but it's still not as good as this OG. And I'm just starting to apply this here. Then I'm going to put it where I usually do, on the chin, under the cheekbones, and then I'm going to go in with this Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. So because it is occasional makeup, I do like to layer my products. I like to do a cream liquid layer underneath and then top it off with a powder layer with a couple of steps in between. And this kind of routine first of all it seems like it's going to take ages it doesn't it's fine and then on the other hand it also looks like it's going to be really heavy but it won't because of the tips that i'm showing you guys here so i'm blending it out this is not the brush that i usually use but i'm not being neat at all i'm literally just blending it with um this small kind of brush blending both the the blush and the contour together and i look at the camera reassuringly they're like i know i look crazy right now but don't worry it will work out i promise then i'm using the og discontinued 07 look how much brighter it is guys and the formula is thicker and it's just gorgeous i love it um, and i do really like to mix the old and the new together for as long as i can anyway so i'm really applying that in the middle and the edges of my eyes down the nose on the forehead and any other places where I applied the first one and then once again I'm going in with that good Mella sponge and I try and blend out all of the concealer first around the face and then if I was just to be using this blush by itself without any other makeup on top I'd then go over with the end of that sponge and go over the concealer just to lighten it a bit but yeah anyway I'm gonna go in and blend out the under eyes and I try and not speed up too many clips and just get rid of me so you can really see like how I'm doing it not that I'm like a makeup artist or anything but these are just like tips that work for me and I'm not trying to boast but I do get a lot of compliments in real life about my base so yeah I like to try and be as detailed as possible then I'm using a rodeo banana powder this is actually smashed into smithereens but I'm gonna use whatever I've got left up because it's so gorgeous and it's so expensive um, but I do love it guys it's amazing whatever I've got left I'm just taking it down the t-zone and you can see it's just beautifully lightly set my under eyes then I'm going to go in with one of my favourite loose powders of all time. This is a Huda Beauty Loose Powder in Pound Cake. And this is way more powder than I would usually use. So I do tend to bake on a day-to-day -day basis when I do my makeup. But I would never go in with this much powder. Again, that's because this is occasional makeup. I don't want it to budge. I want it to last really well. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Essence Eyebrow Mascara on top of some lightly filled in brows. This is very brown because I'm sick of my eyebrows looking so cool toned and dark so i have gone in for a much browner color than i normally would and my eyebrows are really sparse so this kind of product works well for me it adds texture and i know it looks a bit crazy right now but with the eyeshadow it will look fine then i am thinking what eyeshadow palette should i use i've got this gorgeous pat mcgrath one but honestly right now this is not the perfect 
one for the base. I'm going with my good old soft glam, taking uh, the first shade, I believe that's tempura, all over the lid, and then I'm taking, I will write the shade names on the screen guys because I don't have the palette in front of me right now, but I'm taking that shade and then I'm taking this one and putting it all over the lid. The theme of the Dolky was white and gold, and my outfit is more like white, silver, and pink, so I knew I wanted my eyes to be super duper gold and intense. So that's why I'm really building up the brown and whatever I'm doing to the top in this look, I am completely repeating the exact same at the bottom. And then I'm gonna go in with a deeper brown and start building it up. To be honest, I didn't really have a clear vision of what I wanted to do for my eyes. I didn't have a lot of time. I just knew that I wanted to go super, super gold. So because I wanted to go for gold, I wanted to add a bit of depth. Then I use this Essence Metal Rock Liquid Eyeshadow and the applicator of this is just a chef's kiss so good so i'm just applying this all over the lid and i don't let it sit for too long because i want to utilize the fact that it's a liquid to mix it with the powder and make the powder pop i take the gold from that soft glam palette and i pack it on top and i just think this is so pretty i'm definitely going to be using this combo again and again because it just looks stunning then i take the second shade in the soft glam palette and just do a little subtle inner corner eye over here before i move back to my Pat McGrath palette. Now the Pat McGrath palette, you guys must have heard of her formula by now, it's incredible. And there is a really strong gold shade that I've never used before, it's like a yellowy gold. So I go straight for that one and I pack this right over the top and you can see it becomes less of a champagne gold and more of a yellow gold, which I think is perfect for like an Asian function. And then I get closer to the camera because I remember I'm supposed to be showing you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, that's how intense and gold the eyes are looking and I'm pretty happy with that I am acutely aware of the time and that I'm running out of time but I've started so I have to go on and like I said I'm actually going in with the gold underneath at the bottom as well usually I would only stick to like brown under the eyes but I've realized that you've got all that list space at the top and the bottom and on a special occasion why not utilize it and why not add more color now this is a little trick I like to use after I've done my eyeshadow I like to take that same damp brush a uh, sponge sorry and pick up any excess powder that's fallen off and then I'm setting my face with a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is one of the best setting sprays ever and then I'm gonna be lining my lips with the Morphe Chippy Lip Liner. I could have done a better job of this to be honest guys. I rushed this. This is a Huda Beauty brown eyeliner. I think you would have seen it if you watched my beauty haul for 2022. Guys, honestly, I'm not that impressed with this. I love the applicator, don't get me wrong. The applicator is great. It's what you'd expect for a high-end one but I just felt like it'd be more brown, like the colour would be more brown, you know? I didn't think it'd be like this kind of watery black kind of shade. I thought it would be better and I definitely will not be repurchasing this. But yeah, I'm using it obviously because I brought it and I spent a lot of money on it. This is why I like to spend less money on things like this because I know you can get like, for me, better stuff out there for cheaper. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm doing my wing liner. Right, then I'm going back in with that liquid gold essence product there. And I'm taking this short brush and stamping that underneath the wing to just make it stand out. Then I take the Kevin Aquan Neo Bronzer. Now I'm gonna be honest, this should have been a deeper bronzer. This bronzer is quite colorful. It's looking more colorful on camera, I'll be honest, but even in real life, I should not have done this bit here. Ah, I should not have done that. I took it right down the nose and it's just a little bit too pigmented. And now I'm like, um, catch that myself in the viewfinder I'm like girl but then I have to carry on going because I don't have time at this point I am in a rush <laughs> so I just leave it be I go on to a mascara I am thinking of wearing lashes because obviously it's a dolky and I want to look really lovely but then I go back in with the blush side of things so this is a rare beauty cream blush and guys I love the finish of this the longevity of this isn't amazing but the finish is beautiful it really gives you like a lit from within glow obviously this is definitely not natural makeup by any a stretch of the imagination but I just really like this so yeah I always go heavy with the blush because that's the first thing to fade and then I'm trying on lashes I try this one on this is just no way too much absolutely not <laughs> So then I get another pair of lashes. These are gorgeous. These are from Look A Million. I'm going to leave the link down below, as I said before. Um, and then, unfortunately, I end up spending about four minutes looking for my lash glue. Goodness knows where it is, because I literally was talking about it in a recent TikTok, and I have no idea where it's gone. Had to use this lash glue pen, which 
is great but it's really old i should have got rid of it and it's not working to its full capacity i literally wasted about five ten minutes here guys trying to fight with these lashes and i've kept quite a lot of the clips in to show you i sped some of them up as well the struggle was so real because these lashes look great how lovely does that look seriously it totally completed the look for me but then this one on this side <laughs> It just wasn't cooperating. It was not wanting to stick down in place at all. And then the more I fought with it, the more I realized, hello, Ikra, you've also been hired to photograph this event. So is wearing lashes a good idea? Normally when I'm photographing events, I look super casual and comfy and my focus is on the goal because I was there for a family event too. <laughs> That's why I'm getting dressed up. I normally do not get this dressed up, guys, obviously. In the end, I had to take them off. What a blooming waste of time. But anyway, I'm going back in with my palettes and I'm just thinking, like, how can I make my eyes stand out still? So I'm really smoking out that wing and I'm going in for a much lighter inner corner and that's the only thing I can do. Then I take the Huda Beauty Bombshell Liquid Lipstick. This is much lighter than my typical go-to colour, but you know it's very like light sort of goldy light sort of makeup so i just go with it and then this is the abh lip gloss in the shade caramel over the top i'm not gonna lie after wearing those lashes i feel pretty like bold like a bold egg at this point but it is what it is i have to keep going i take a clean brush and i blend together any of the powder um that's looking a little bit harsh on the face um usually i would take the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but I ran out of the shade two, which I need to get. Um, and I'm using some highlighter, which I don't normally do nowadays. I only do it on a special occasion, but it definitely adds some icing to the cake, in my opinion. And finally, last but not least, I go with my final setting spray session. And this is honestly what keeps my <laughs> makeup looking amazing. Right, there you go. I'm cutting off some thread that I know would have annoyed me. And this is the debutter. I love this suit so much, guys. I'm wearing a um, hijab cap underneath. And this suit is one of the ones that Ukara got me as part of one of my wedding gifts. Um, really, really gorgeous suit. And I'm so happy that I fitted into it, guys. Do you know how happy that makes me, considering how much weight I put on after my wedding? Yeah, I'm really pleased. So, so I'm basically just flipping the butter around, bringing it forward, and then I am someone who never uses pins, if I can help it, apart from, again, on a special occasion. So I think I use about four or five pins here. I'm trying to weave them in and out of my hijab cap and my dubatta, um, two on each side, and then, oh, there you go, I put one in the middle. Guys, I just find them so painful, and I always hurt myself with them, I always stab myself with them, and I just don't think that that is the motive, you know? But obviously, when I'm doing photography as well as being the guest at this dolki, I need my hijab situation to stay in place. So when needs must, I've got to take the sacrifice and potentially get stabbed by a couple of pins. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with this. It actually did last the whole night, apart from like maybe an hour to the end, which is where it started coming a little bit undone. And um, but that's fine. That was that was really good for me anyway. Um, and then I'm just applying my perfume, putting it everywhere, my wrist, on my neck, all over my copper, and I am done. I am ready. I hope you enjoyed this. Get ready with me. It's been a while. I thought I would come a little bit closer and show you. So even though I didn't wear the lashes, which I do think completed the look, I am happy with my makeup. I think it looks very pretty, mashallah. I'm a barrack, not trying to <laughs> toot my own trumpet. And there you go, I'm showing you that my hijab is in place. It is not gonna move, because usually the butt does move and they do the most. And I love the gold underneath the eyes. I'm definitely gonna be playing with more color under the eyes in the year 2023 when I do my makeup. Very happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this a big thumbs up and I will see you in in a minute. So do take care guys. Bye.